Welcome to Lunchtime Live. I am starting a tiny bit early today uh, because I am due a DPD delivery sometime between 12.30 and 1.30. Uh, and you know that they're just gonna come and interrupt me. So um, it says they're like 45 minutes away. I never trust those systems. Uh, so I thought I would join a little bit early. Hello everyone joining. I hope everyone is well and have had a good week. We're kind of officially into uh, Christmas season now, which is nice. Um, got a few decorations up behind me. Um, got the tree up, so we're all looking quite festive in here. A little bit sad we can't have a tree at home because our cats just, it would be carnage. They're three years old nearly and they still very, very much naughty kittens. Uh, and it's not so much the knocking baubles off that would happen, but it's more the eating of the tree, which would happen and the eating of the string around ornaments. Let's, let's not, let's just, you know, make it simple uh, and not have a tree. So we've just got some festive lights up very, very high where they can't get to uh, at the moment. Um, anyway, so today I am going to be sharing some of the new bits that have come in lately. Um, I might be wearing one of them actually. Uh, this is one of my favourite fabrics. I think someone asked me uh, last week which my favourite fabric was and it's got to be this. It's um, a sweater knit and grey leopard print and it is just so snuggly and lovely. Uh, so I don't know if you saw my reel yesterday of all my billy tops that I've made. So this is a billy um, from Tilly and the Buttons. So it's the sweatshirt pattern which just kind of comes up looking like a jumper in um in a sweater in it so yeah really nice uh it's got plenty of stretch so neck bands are fine i did i was kind of tempted to do um black ribbing for the cuffs and neck band and everything but actually i wanted it to all look the same um i'd seen a jumper in m s as i walked through uh a few weeks ago and i was like yes i like that um, and it's kind of very similar look to this so Oh goodness, it's heavy, it's heavy. So here she is, look at her, beautiful. So this is the Great Leopard Sweater Knit. Um, and yeah, absolutely beautiful. That's what it looks like on the other side. Um, but yeah, really, really lovely. So we've got it in the gray color and then we've got a little bit left of the beige color. Let me just check this, it's called the Taupe Leopard Sweater Knit. Uh, so depending on whether you want a cool tone or a warm tone, um, there they are. Mm, I'm just going to snuggle them. They're lovely. Um, so that's those ones. And while we are talking sweater knits, oh, do feel free to pop any questions um, below. I've had a few questions in from people. Um, so I will get to those shortly. Um, yeah, and this one is a lovely grey ribbed sweater knit. So lovely for cardigans. It would also work nicely for the Billy or the Nora something like that but yeah good for cardigans really good stretch and recovery on this one um so yeah this one is lovely the great ribbed sweater knit um yeah very nice i'm you know very much into keeping warm at the moment um oh top tip the m and s um thermal tops i think it's the heat gen tops so i tend to wear just one of those under everything. I've got them in lots of different colours. Uh, but yeah, long sleeve, really nice and fine, but a nice warm base layer if you're a bit chilly. Uh, although we do have the heating on here, so it's nice, it's nice. It's definitely warmer than home. <laughs> so let's share one of these. So one of the questions was from the lovely Dr. Claire saying, what is that fabric uh, that I put in the background of my story? Um, yeah, she's a beauty. So it's a brand new Ruby Star. Uh, so they occasionally release fabrics on a rayon base, base cloth and it is just beautiful. It's really nice to work with. It's almost more like cotton lawn, as in it's really nice and stable. It's not, um, it's not too floopy. Uh, really easy to cut out, really easy to sew and just a joy to wear. So... You can see that beautiful movement there. So this is just these gorgeous retro clouds. It would be so lovely for something like a wilder gown, an LED dress, the um, 
the Libra dress telly in the buttons, that would be nice. Um, the indigo dress telly in the buttons would be nice. The chalk notch fringe dress. Um, beautiful for lining a coat, if you had a coat in a lovely kind of forest green. Um, I've got another fabric in a second that it's gonna go beautifully with. Um, yeah, they are on the pricey side, don't get me wrong, but they are absolutely worth it. Um, if you hate rayon, I think you'd have a lovely experience working with the Ruby Star ones. Um, this is a little cello top that I made out of one of the other ones that they released. So this is the Golden Hour um, rayon and it's just beautiful. You can just see it just moves really nicely and it feels and looks really expensive. Um, you know, like a silk shirt, that kind of thing. It's that kind of feel and movement just yeah, lovely. So a really simple top like this, completely elevated by these fabrics. We do actually have a little bit left of this fabric still. It's a beautiful colour. So that's that one. Oh, do you, should probably tell you what it's called. It's called Elixir uh, and it's in succulent. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, the Ruby Star rayons tend to be really popular because they're just stunning. Um, so yeah, I was going to show you. Mm. So this is a glorious um, velvet that we've had in. Oh, someone said, uh, yeah, love the MLS Heat Gems for layering. Yeah, it's a great product. I think they're about £16 or something. Uh, definitely worth getting because, you know, something plain base, base layers is fine. It's not that interesting, is it? Uh, but yeah, there's something to do with the technology in the fabric. That makes it nice and warm. Sorry, messing around my hair. Um, so yes, this is a beautiful velvet. Uh, so it's a not uh, non-stretch velvet. Um, so perfect for blazers, that kind of thing, or um, a nice um, wintry kind of dress. The Abbott Seamstress Day dress would be beautiful in this with the little gathers. Um, but I am actually making the Abbott Seamstress blazer from it at the moment so I have just it's it's a mammoth project actually it's lots and lots of pieces and you've got all the um lining pieces all the interfacing and the main pieces so I've got everything cut out I'm, I'm just doing it in stages just grabbing a little bit of time when I can uh so I've just interfaced everything so the next bit is to start sewing which I'm very excited about but yeah this is just a beautiful color a lovely kind of Foresty green, and actually, if you were to use this as a lining, that would be beautiful. Unfortunately, my um, this hasn't come in before I cut mine out, so I have gone with this beaut. A little bit leopard print. I just thought the colours were really nice together. Um, so yeah, very cute. So this is the Layla Pink Viscose. So that's those ones. So yeah, my current project, which I'm going to an event next Thursday and I'm hoping to get it done by then. I mean, I'm sure if I snatch bits of time here and there, I've got Monday off. So maybe I can get a bit of sewing done on Monday. Yeah. I probably should rest because it's going to be a busy week. Anyway, what else have I got to show you? I've got this gorgeous, oh, it's covered in other bits of corduroy because that's what corduroy does. Um, but yeah, I've got this gorgeous um, purple cord. So it's a really nice whale of corduroy. Um, and yeah, a really, really bright, bold color. I know lots of people love a good purple. Great for dungarees, great for trousers. It hasn't got any stretch, this one. Um, also good for blazer. Sorry, someone's asked me. Gwendolyn has says, please show the jacket again. So it is the Avid Seamstress, the blazer. Um, it's fabulous. I've tried it on. I've tried the sample on. It fits like a dream. Um, it's got these great big, beautiful pockets in it. And it's drafted so well. Like I can really tell um, that's just really taken the time with the drafting. Or, you know, the fact that there are so many separate pattern pieces says to me it's a good pattern so yeah very very excited about making that oh, love the purple cord yes it's good isn't it it's very kind of Cadbury's purple uh, ooh, and while we're looking at slightly uh, thicker bottom weight fabrics we've got a new denim in which is a non-stretch denim 
great for dungarees, great for the Morgan jeans, um, and great for, is it the Dawn jeans? I want to say the Megan Nielsen Dawns that don't have stretch, I think. Um, but yeah, lovely classic indigo colour. Uh, so yes, we love this one. And it's really nice and soft as well. Um, chicken bugs, that's an exciting name. Uh, it says dungarees in the corporate look amazing. Yes, they would. Um, um, we've got a couple of coating fabrics. Oh, so these are a wool poly blend. So they do have like 30% wool in them. Um, they're very, very lovely and soft. Uh, so a nice big bold check design. It'd be so cool in an oversized coat. Um, is it the Yates coat I'm thinking of, I think? Um, so this is the blue check wool coating. They do have two very different sides. And you could very much choose which side you used. It would be completely up to you. See, this feels more muted uh, on the softer side. And then this side, they're both soft, uh, but it's, it's like a slightly fuzzier texture. Um, and this side feels a bit more bold. So yeah, you could choose or you could mix and match, which would be interesting. And um, so we've got that one. Oh my goodness me. Coating fabric is not light. <laughs> and then we've got this lovely black and gray. Um, so let me, let me get this one out so you can see the scale. There you go. So yeah, you could do all sorts of interesting things with diagonals um, and the checks. Yeah, it's just a really nice classic. And as I say, they feel beautiful. Oh, this lugging pack around. Um, oh, I dropped my, dropped my tag. Um, right, other things I need to tell you about. Oh, I'm going to show you some um, Christmassy fabrics as well. Coating fabric, amazing. Would like to order 10 yards tan checks. Head over to the website. Um, I bought the Anna dress pattern and have double gauze fabric I bought from you. Would it be too floppy to use that pattern? No, I don't think so at all. Um, yeah, that would that would be nice for an Anna. Um, are you thinking the long one or the um, shorter version? We do love the Anna here. That's what um, we used for my bridesmaids dresses. Um, so, oh, I did have some other questions. Sorry to answer. Let me do. Let me have a look at those. So, oh, best fabric for the South Bank sweater. Um, very similar to the Billy. Um, so, if you want a um, if you want um, to do a thicker one, a more wintry one, then a good sweatshirt thing. Something like this would be nice. We've got this in the rust, we've got it in a pink, we've got it in navy, um, and it's beautifully brushed uh, on the other side. So it's a cotton um, with elastane. So you, you can use this, this fabric with the neck bands, but we have matching ribbings for them as well. Um, I really like the look of um, the ribbing with it. Um, yeah, good amount of stretch, uh, nice and soft, easy to work with. Um, so yeah, that would be great. Um, but you can also do it in a cotton jersey if you want. Or I actually made a, a South Bank out of the floopiest, like glittery, um, I don't know what you'd call it. It was a, it was a stretchy jersey, uh, but it was like a it was a really fine sweat in it, um, all glittery and just really draped beautifully. It probably wasn't what the the South Bank was intended to be made from, but it worked really well. It's a very different look, but yeah, you can make it from all kinds of things. A velvet, oh, that would be nice. Yeah, we've got a couple of stretch velvets. Hang on, let me show. some other bits. Um, like, look at the colour of that. That would be so nice. As a Billy or as um, the South Bank, that would be gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. This is the Sapphire stretch velvet. A little bit left of that, uh, but they've been popular. Um, but yeah, this would be nice for a Christmassy South Bank. So this is, again, a um, brushed back so it's a uh, festive forest brushed, brushed jersey. That 
that would be nice. And then you could do just a little green or a red um, neckband in that beautiful colour. Um, but yeah, you want a, a nice sweatshirt for that kind of thing. Um, and uh, do, 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 do. Oh, a terrible, uh, so this is from Bex. I'm terrible at jersey and t-shirt neckbands. Have you got any tips um, for when there's lots of fabric and a tiny neckband? Um, I always do mine in quarters. So I divide up the neckband with pins into quarters. Um, so, so oh, actually, what do I do first? Before I join the two ends of the neckband, I iron it in half because it's much easier to press it when it's flat fabric. Then I join the two ends together and um, then put pins in all the quarters and then put pins in the quarters of the neckband. But make sure that you are not putting the pins in the shoulder seams because that won't be right. Your back neck, uh, your, the back neck will be shorter than the front. Um, so make sure that you do actually do it in quarters. So put the centre front and centre back together, pull the sides out and pin so it, sh it will be like a little way down, maybe an inch down from the shoulder seams. Um, and that means it's all distributed properly. Uh, then I, I tend to just go straight on a, in on the overlock a bit. If you're nervous, do it on the sewing machine first. Um, or if you've only got a sewing machine, do it on your sewing machine. Um, but yes, yeah, start, and I tend to start sewing sort of around here. If you start sewing in the middle, you end up with all of the, especially if you're overlocking, you end up with all the, um, the overlap of the overlocking showing like when when you look at it if it's if it's sort of round here it's more hidden I mean you can't see it when you're wearing it it's fine um, but yeah I tend to start sewing around there and so I'll sew just after one pin um, and I'll stretch out and sew to the next pin then I'll stretch out again and just make sure that you've got all the the three edges all aligned and just take your time you can like I tend to if it's sort of a fair distance between pins, maybe I'll sort of use my hand as pins halfway between and go up to that bit and then go up to the next pin, if that makes sense. Um, but I can maybe do a tutorial one, one lunchtime, if that helps. Yes, yes, so stretch as you said, yes, that's right, lovely. Um, so things to talk about. Um, we are going to be having a couple of late night festive shopping evenings. So we've got one next week on the Wednesday, one on the Tuesday the following week, uh, the 13th. So um, that we're going to be open from 6 to 8 in the evening because I know it can be hard to get down here if you're, you know, working uh, during the day. Um, so we're just going to have a couple of little festive shopping evenings, um, which I'll put some details up soon and that will be going out in our newsletter as well um and what else was i gonna say and this year for the first year we are going to be open between christmas and new year so in betwixtmas we will be open um and we're going to do like a little drop-in kind of thing if you want to come in bring some sewing come and have a cup of tea and a bit of a sew um then I just thought that would be a nice thing for, you know, maybe if you, you might be on your own, you might be fed up of your family, you might just want a little escape, um, then come down and hang out here in, in uh, the fabric grotto, let's call it. Um, but yeah, I will put more details up about that. Um, yeah, uh, anything else? I don't think so. I think that's that's me today. I am awaiting a big fabric delivery, so I will be sharing more about that when it arrives. Very excited, very excited. Uh, it's a new supplier, so um, yeah, excited to see what it all looks like. Obviously, I've seen it in the flesh. I have touched and felt all these samples, and it all looks very good. So yes, excited about that. Um, yeah, lovely. I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.